Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to price your products for your laser engraving business. And I just wanted to mention, if you haven't already, check out our website at laserengravingbusiness.com. We will be adding a lot more information to the website as the time becomes available. It will include free files, maybe some paid files, and an ebook to help you grow your laser engraving business. So keep an, an eye on that and, uh, and subscribe to our email list. And every time we add some new information or do anything on there, we can update you through email. So stay tuned and we'll go over um, how to price your products for your laser engraving business. So this is a question that I see get asked a good bit. Um, maybe you're designing a new product and you want to know how much should you charge for it or maybe you found a file on Etsy and uh, it requires a little bit of customization or maybe no customization at all and you're looking to see how much should you charge for it, what's a fair price for you and a fair price for the customer. So that's going to be the questions we'll be answering today and um, this is kind of something that you would do for any type of business not just laser engraving and as I mentioned before I do run and own a couple other businesses and so the basic formula that I use when I price my products is basically time so how much time does it take for me to um, print the product on the laser and how much time does it take for me to paint and assemble okay and um, then you're going to add in the cost of the material and you're going to add in the time it takes to design and so that, that's going to be the basic formula we'll go over today. So um, let's take, for example, my previous video on how we made $1,700 in the first month of running our laser engraving business with one product. And that was a, um, a split name monogram. So uh, that was a design that we purchased off of Etsy to get started. And so... Um, the design time is adding the person's name. So um, that takes about five minutes. So five minutes here. Um, the cost of the material is about $3 a board, then some paint. So we could say $3.50, $4. And then the time to print paint and assemble. So the print normally takes around 20 minutes. Paint and assemble. There's no assembly time other than uh, pulling off the masking tape. So you can add that to it. So um, 20 minutes plus let's say 10 minutes for everything else. So that's about 30 minutes. Okay, so we have our time it takes to print paint and assemble we have the cost of the material and we have the time it takes to design the product for that particular customer so now you have to decide how how valuable is your time how much money do you want to make per minute per hour however you want to do it for me the uh, the time it takes to print paint and assemble I like to get about a dollar Per minute I like to at least recover my cost for material so four dollars and I like to at least get 50 cents per minute for design time and all this if you all this may vary if you're selling locally 
So you have to price your product based on what the local market allows. So for me, this, this formula works for me. So if we're going back to um, those split name monograms, I was selling those for $35, okay? And so if we add this up, we have a dollar a minute at 30 minutes. So we have $30. Then we have $4 for material. And then we have five minutes plus 50 cents a minute for design time comes out to two dollars and fifty cents so we add that up and we get thirty six dollars and fifty cents and in this case I just round it down maybe you might want to want to round up to forty dollars I round it down to thirty five dollars uh, I feel like thirty five dollars works really well in my local market for that particular product and um, if you're if you're designing something and um, you, you feel like it's a, a product made from from scratch. So like for the split name monogram, all I have to do is um, add the person's name. So it's not a whole lot of figuring out and it's not a whole lot of design. But if you're designing something from scratch and you're maybe only gonna print one or two of these for a customer, you may wanna charge one to $2 per design time. And um, and you might want to charge double for material. It all depends on your market and how you want to base your your uh, business. But for me, this works. And one other thing you may want to consider is like uh, is uh, niche or niche. So if you're uh, if you're catering to a certain niche, you know you may charge like a a niche price. Um, add an extra five ten. $20 to it and that you, you would do the same thing time plus material plus design plus niche and uh, you would you would get the formula for that all right thanks for watching guys um, if you want to leave a comment on maybe a different way that you price your products or maybe you have a question or maybe I missed something please leave a comment below um, like this video so subscribe to my channel and we will help you grow a better laser engraving business.